Leeds United under Daniel Parker are finally able to get up and running after the end of the transfer window. We know who's in, we know who's out, Lewis and Estera. But who's the best starting eleven for Leeds United right now? Now, a couple of ground rules. This is picking entirely based on ability, so form and potential won't really come into it. And we're assuming that everyone is fit. If everyone is fit, then everyone gets a fair chance. There's no point saying this person's out for two weeks, so they won't be able to play this match in January, for example. First up, this pick sort of just makes sense to me. It's Ilan Melier in net. Now, Carl Dallo is a decent enough goalkeeper, but every time he's played, he seems to be pinging the ball a little bit too hard at the defenders, and Daniel Farker likes his goalkeeper to be happy with the ball at his feet. Melier has grown into that, and after a little wobble in form at the end of last season, there's no reason he shouldn't be able to pick it up going through this season onwards. He's also a bit of a confidence player, and having gotten one clean sheet under his belt, we can start to build on that. The first of the potentially controversial picks, however, is Jed Spence. Now, there's a lot of options at right back. There is Luke Ayling. In theory, there's Sam Byram. There was Cody Drame, and now he's gone. But I have gone for Jed Spence. He didn't come from Tottenham to not play. That would be incredibly daft, especially as he's getting older and older. And I feel like coming to the end of his time on loan at various clubs. And he's a very creative, attacking player while still having the legs to get back and defend. That's something that Luke Ayling hasn't had for a little while, and it's something that Spence will bring. And it'll bring both defensive solidity and attacking output. I feel like he's the perfect right back for Leeds at the moment under Farkas' system. Right next to him, also a Spurs loanee, is going to be Joe Rodon. Rodon has proven himself incredibly well so far this season. At right centre back, he seems to be quite comfortable. He's played next to Pascal Strauch so far this season. But he seems to bring not only a level of ability, but leadership on the pitch. He's in discussion with the players around him at all times. He knows where the line is and he knows what he's doing. He's going to rip up the championship, I think. Another potentially on the fans controversially one. I've gone Liam Cooper. He's the club captain. He's shown that he can still play at a good standard. I mean, he scored on the same match he got injured in the first game of the season. I think he's definitely good enough. When he'll come back is a completely different question. So in the meantime, it will probably have to be Pascal Strauch. But I genuinely think that Liam Cooper has the legs, the mindset and the passion to get Leeds back to the Premier League. At left back, I've gone something a little bit different. A lot of people might say Sam Byram. I've gone Jamie Shackleton. He's only played there a couple of times, but when he has, he's looked very good. He's very energetic. He gets all the way up and back down the pitch, interlinking with the left winger. It's not only in defence where you need a fullback to do well, it's attacking as well, and I feel like that's where Shackleton comes in. He also does that little thing that modern managers do where you can tuck in and sort of play in the midfield as a fullback. As a midfielder and a right back and a left back, I feel like Shackleton is perfectly versatile to fit into that role. When it comes to midfield, I feel like there's no place to start other than Ethan Ampadu. Ethan Ampadu has come in and he has been incredible. He's been a stalwart in that defence, absolutely concrete. Nothing has gotten past him. He just makes the best decision every time. He feels like someone that could play at Leeds for a fairly long time, whether we get promoted or not. I'd quite like us to get promoted so he can like really prove his chops in the Premier League. But Ampadu is probably our best signing of the summer so far, at least on the back of what we've seen. He'll be paired by another summer signing, Glenn Kamara. Kamara, sorry, I keep getting that one. Uh, Glenn Kamara is a very high quality midfielder. He also plays a sort of holding ish role, but he's very box to box. That's why I've not put Ilya Gruev here, because he's more of an Ampadu cover, if that makes sense. Kamara is not only good at sort of stoically breaking up attacking moves, but he also knows how to put them together himself. He's a very good passer. He got a few assists when he was at Rangers. I feel like he's going to be a perfectly good part of this Daniel Farkas side. I'll get on to why I've left people out towards the end, just in case you've got any questions. I know there will be questions, including over this choice. I've gone with Jaden Anthony. Jaden Anthony has proven that he can do it at a championship level before. With Bournemouth, he got plenty of goals, plenty of assists, played something like 43 matches in their championship promotion campaign. And he's only grown since. He's gotten better. He played a fair bit this season so far under Iriola. So he's someone that was going to play in the Premier League anyway. And I feel like he's genuinely of a high enough standard to push us forwards. He will ideally play on the left-hand side, opposite Crescencio Somerville. Now I'm going for something like a 4-4-2, but with attacking wide midfielders, like a 4-2-4 sort of thing. You'll learn why in a minute. But I think Somerville is 
probably the better of him and Willy Nonto at the moment. Nonto has a load of potential. He can be the best bargain Leeds have had because he was four million quid and we could already have turned that into a lot of profit. But I think he's going to be better in the future when he's had a little bit more time to learn the system under Daniel Farker. But at the moment, I think Crescentio Somerville is that direct option that we really need. He's already proven himself willing to take a player on, willing to take a shot. Nice little bits of interplay with the likes of Jorginho Rotaire and Joel Pirro. And I feel like he fits in absolutely perfectly in that right wing position. On the subject of Jorginho Rutter, I've got him as a sort of 9-10 hybrid sort of thing. That feels like something that Daniel Farker likes to do. He likes to have his front line be very, very fluid and be able to play multiple positions and systems. Rutter can not only play out wide, he can play as a number 9 and he can play behind the 9. I personally prefer behind the 9, so you could just arguably call this a 10 if you really wanted to. But he's incredibly skilled. He can take on defenders. Admittedly, his finish in the last match wasn't really good enough. Like He's the reason we didn't beat Sheffield Wednesday, arguably. But they're going to happen. And he's someone that also relies on his confidence a lot. And once he properly gets the ball rolling, I feel like Rotera is going to make a massive difference in this division, especially when playing alongside Joel Pirro. Joel Pirro is a no-brainer to play at centre forward. He scored something like an average of 20 goals in every season of the championship so far he's played in. And I don't think that'll be any different at Leeds United, especially with all the chances that are coming from behind him. He's a natural finisher. His movement is fantastic. He knows how to carry the ball. I think he's just the perfect blend for Leeds United at the moment. Now we get onto the but what about section where I um, it will look like I've forgotten some players. I've not. I've put them here on purpose. For example. Sam Byram. Sam Byram is, I think, a very, very good fullback, but I don't think he's your starting fullback. In an ideal world, he wouldn't be in our first 11. He would be behind the first left or left back or behind the first right back. And I know I said that I'm not considering injuries, but I feel like long-term fitness issues can be a concern. I think Shackleton has it in him to stay more permanently fit, whereas Sam Byram, I think you would force to rotate with Furpo and just hope that one of them is fit at any one time, and that's not really the way you want to run a championship football club. Also in defence, I have gone with Pascal Strauch as a, not in the first 11, but a potentially vital sub. I don't know how long Liam Cooper is out. Potentially, it could be a very, very long time. It could be fairly short. Leaning towards long after what happened to his knee, so he will effectively be our starting left centre-back for a good while, but I just feel like Cooper's got that little bit more mental strength in him. You saw with Strauch, he just lost his confidence towards the end of last season, and that caused problems. It's something that we can try and deal with this season going forwards. And in future seasons, sure, he'll be a starting player, but whilst Cooper is here, I would think I'd prefer to start the captain. Further up the pitch, I'm going to come to Willie Nonto next, and I'm also going to quickly create one more banner, because I think it's sort of important. Um, Willie Nonto, I have explained i think he's got a lot of potential i think it's not quite here yet and considering his mindset he's someone i'd rather take off the bench he's got the pace he can attack a tired defense arguably as the season goes on he might show some incredible attacking performances but we've not really had it quite yet and i think that's going to come in the future but i think building him up off the bench at first is a better show i've also got archie gray on the bench Purely because I feel like if we burn through him too early, we're not going to have as good a career with him or we might ruin him. Long-term injury issues are a thing at Leeds United. For example, Charlie Taylor played a hell of a lot when he was younger and injured. Sam Byron played a hell of a lot when he was injured. Sorry, played a hell of a lot when he was younger and injured. Same with Lewis Cook. I feel like if we just give Archie Gray the odd rotational appearance, bring him on off the bench, and that'll be a lot better for his development because he can stay fitter. Finally, Patrick Bamford is someone that I've been a vocal supporter of. I think he has the quality necessary to really do a job in a Leeds United side, but I don't think he gets in over Rutter when it comes to chance creation or Pirro when it comes to finishing. So I think he's a nice third option where if one of them is injured or if we need something new off the bench, he can offer that nice, aggressive impetus and potentially do well again. He's very, very good for the championship. I just don't know whether he gets in over the other two. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Comment below what you think about Leeds United's potential starting lineup for the season ahead. It'll probably be completely different to mine. That's fine. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe. I will see you later.